Today I'm drawing an apolith in the first of a series of D&D creatures that I'm doing with pen and ink. In D&D, apolith are described as ancient and immense amphibian-like creatures, originally from another realm, that are highly intelligent and have mind control abilities similar to mind players. They also have several tentacles and a nasty set of teeth for physical attacks. They generally are found underwater, however they can also move around on land if needed. I like to start with this large blocky pencil, as it helps me stay gestural in my mark making and not get pulled into details too early. At this stage I am focusing on the whole page and how the shapes work across the page. This means getting the silhouette to read well, things like playing up the shape of the tentacles so they show up against the background. It's also important that the creature feels like it can move or animate, so getting things like the gesture to match its personality or the emotional situation that figure is in is something that I want to think about before getting into the details or building form and lighting. I normally proceed from gesture to a second more detailed pencil stage before moving on to ink. However, I was feeling pretty confident after my lay in here, so I just jumped right in with the pen and proceeded directly with detailing and shading. Pen and ink is completely unforgiving, so I find practicing with it can be really great for building up confidence in mark making and in brushwork. However, it can also knock your confidence down really quickly with just a few mishaps. So whiteout or other opaque correction paint is really critical for recovering from these sorts of big mistakes. I finished this up with some quick filters to add motion using an app on my iPhone called CapCut. If you enjoyed this and want to see the rest of the series, be sure to like and follow me here or on Instagram. Thanks.